How far does an electric scooter go? Well, I've reviewed over 50 electric scooters in my time and I've broken it down into three categories. Number one, commuter scooters, in-town scooters. We call them last mile scooters. Really small, fold them up in that trunk of your car. Hey, that's fantastic. Number two, long range commuting, cruising scooters. And then number three, the more high powered, off-roading, long distance type scooters. So what affects range? Well, weight, the weight of yourself, weight of the actual scooter, temperature. It's a beautiful day today, but if it's cold, it's gonna impact it. In fact, living up here in Canada, sometimes we'll actually find that the actual battery will actually drop about 25% just in that short period of time, especially if it gets down to around freezing. Wind, hills, like if you've got those steep hills, that's gonna impact you for sure. Voltage. You'll find with smaller scooters, there are 36 volt to 48 volt range. And then the bigger they are, the bigger the voltage. Quite often, right up to 72 volts. And of course, the battery size itself, that makes a big difference, obviously. So the bigger the battery, the further you get to go. Now, battery size is measured in amp hours, and that's really important. So the budget scooters, they come in at around that nine, seven and a half amp hours. Cruisers and commuters, a little bit bigger, sometimes up to about 18 amp hours. And then after that, you can get some really big monsters, 30 to 35 amp hours. Another thing that's gonna affect it is how you actually ride the scooter. If you're an aggressive scooter rider, if you're giving it the beans on every single green light, it's gonna impact the amount of battery life you have left. And then the last thing I wanna talk about is battery degradation. Battery degradation, battery degradation. <laughs> battery degradation. And what I'm talking about here is over time, you're going to actually find that the battery is actually going to be less efficient. So a five-year-old battery that's being used on a regular basis is going to be less efficient than a brand new battery. And sometimes that can be in an order of like 10 or 15% degradation. Hope you guys can still hear me with this cacophony of noise. This little rat trap I wanted to use was to illustrate that manufacturers are actually in a trap, if you like a manufacturer's trap of their own making. Basically what happened was when the very first scooters came out, they put these ranges out there, which are completely un unattainable. They were designed, they would take people, I mean, children or very young, very, very slight, light adults, put them on a close course, no wind, perfect temperatures, maybe on a track, and they'd measure it at the slowest possible speed. Well, that's not how anybody rides. So now when a new manufacturer comes along and puts out a scooter, they can't put a low range on an electric scooter because it's not gonna make any sense. And they go, they, people are always comparing. You get to look and you say, oh, this one will only go 20 miles. Well, this one will go 30 miles. I'll get the one with the 30 miles, even though they're exactly the same. So they're in a trap. And to that end, what I typically do was I'll look at the range and I'll actually have it. And sometimes if you're a bigger guy like myself, go up like 40% of the advertised manufacturer's range. First up, the budget scooter. So this is an example of the commuter scooter, that sort of really small, lightweight scooter. It is called the High Boy KS4. There are other ones out there like the new, um, the new KQI3 Pro would be another one I'd recommend you look at. Sort of entry level scooters. This will go advertised, this will be about 15 to 20 miles. So, but in my experience, you got to half that, right? So you're looking at about seven miles to yeah, maybe about 10 miles, that sort of range. Um, and if you're a bigger guy, even less. It has a 350 watt motor and uh, you know what? It'll fold up fairly easily. You can pop it in the trunk of your car. Pretty lightweight as well. So the second kind of scooter is a commuter scooter. It could be a commuter slash cruiser scooter. They have a, I'll call them medium sized battery, 11.6 amp hours. It happens to be this High Boy S2 Max. You could look at the InMotion S1. If you wanted a little bit more range, you could look at something like a Varla Eagle One or an Apollo Ghost. They're about 18.6 amp hours. But the bottom line is the, um, the, something like this is advertised at around, let me just check my notes. It's advertised at 40 miles, but with this big guy on it, I'm getting like about 15 miles without an issue. Um, and so, you know, you have to sort of take that in consideration. You may just have to have the mileage. And this is an example of the off-road extremist, the, the power hungry, the sports kind of uh, enthusiast. This is the Wolf King GT Pro. It's an absolute beast. It's got twin 2000 watt motors, a massive 35 amp hour battery. So this is advertised to be able to go, and I'm just gonna check my notes 
Let's go and make sure I get this one right. 74 miles or 120 kilometers. But again, with somebody my size on it, I'm definitely gonna be having that. Um, but still, what an incredible amount of range. Another scooter, similar, in that it is an ultimate cruiser style with a massive battery would be the e-move cruiser it has a 52 volt system as opposed to the 72 volt system but it's still got a huge battery about 30 amp hour battery which means that it's actually advertised and i've actually seen this done where somebody's actually ridden it they were a lot skinnier than i am they rode it 60 miles 100 kilometers that's amazing i actually went out and tested it myself and i was able to get 54 kilometers I went from this spot right here in downtown Victoria all the way up island to Sydney and all the way back. And, uh, and the battery died just on the outskirts of, of the city. So that's incredible as well. Anywho. So it wouldn't be a video with me in it if we didn't pause for pastries. So as a result, we're here at Hidden Gem. But I did want to wrap up really fairly and say, you know what, manufacturers, they're stuck between a rock and a hard place. Uh, they might be just a little bit creative with the ranges that they're advertising. But at the end of the day, if you know that going in, just have it. 50%, then you're safe. If you're a bigger guy like myself, I'm 265 pounds and six feet tall, then you're probably gonna have to look at that 40% mark when you're looking at the ranges that, they're, that are being offered. And that's my experience after watching, or sorry, that's my experience after reviewing 50 plus electric scooters. I've reviewed over 50 electric scooters, over, <laughs>